He is known as the Speak Doctor. If you are nervous about speaking in public, stick around because the doctor is helping people develop those public speaking skills. He is joining us live this morning with some tips on how to land that perfect job. Hey, by the way, he is known as the Speak Doctor. So if you are nervous about speaking in public, stick around for this. The Speak Doctor helps people develop public speaking skills, and he joins us this morning with some tips on how to land the job. We'll have those details coming up after the break at 614. He is known as the Speak Doctor. He's a communication consultant. He is an expert, is what we like to call him. Till Cars is helping people develop public speaking skills. Joining us this morning with some tips on how to land that perfect job. Good morning. Great to see you, Anne. Great hard to, to believe be I used to have problems speaking in public, huh? I, that, that is hard to believe. You did such a great job. <laughs> I did. I talked to somebody like you. So what is the most important thing when you're going on a job interview? Yeah, the most important thing really is to smile because the employer is going to be a little bit nervous, too. So just be happy. Typically, there's a chemistry factor, just like dating. And if they feel more comfortable, you feel more comfortable. And people hire people they like. Also, make direct eye contact because if you don't look someone in the eye, it looks like you're lying. You've heard that before, <laughs> and that goes back to dating that's, as well. That's, that's right, yeah. Always look the person in the eye. You got it. You know, we talk about how competitive the job market yeah. really is. It's getting better. It's still competitive, though. Yeah. So what do you need to do to get that edge? What you need to do is you need to research the company. Really, really drill down and find out what's important to them. Find out about that job. You can do most of that online. Then you have to relate your skills specifically to that job. The mistake most people make is they just do a data dump. Well, I did this, I did this, I did that. No, talk specifically about what you did that relates to the job that you're interviewing for. Make that connection. Make it easy for them to hire you. Do you ever, it almost feels like you're bragging a little bit, but you say that's okay to do that. <laughs> Absolutely, because everybody else is bragging, right? You better, you know, toot your horn and put your best foot forward. And remember, what is your headline? What separates you from everybody else? Because it's a very competitive market. Maybe you speak Japanese as a second language or whatever it is. Put that right up front. Okay, practice? You need to rehearse the answers, especially the tough ones from the tough questions. In other words, why are you looking for a new job? Why did you leave your previous job? Make sure you have that dialed in because if that's not rehearsed and you're tentative, you look unsure and unconfident. You don't want that. We are so lucky to have you in Thank studio you. live right now, but you have a book. Enhancing Your Presentation Skills, been out a long time, also available as a Kindle or ebook now as well. All right, Till Cars, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me in. Giving us the edge to get that job.